Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am starting my eyeshadow palette collection series, I guess. I've decided to split this into two videos because if not, it's probably going to be like three hours long. Um, and as you see here, this is my drawer of what I call mini palettes, but like some of them, you know, are in regular size. It's just that they fit better in a drawer separate from my other, like, larger palettes. And because this is already pretty organized, I thought I would just do this video on its own. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just get started. Uh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> okay, so down here, uh, I'm on a tripod, but I'll try to show you. Um, it starts like here, so these are all palettes here, these are the rest. In the back here, it's mostly eyelashes until here, and then there's more palettes here. So I'll try to show you each palette one by one, and when I do like my other larger palettes, I want to organize them by brand, but these are a little all over the place, but I tried my best. <laughs> anyway, it's more about how having them fit in these acrylic containers that I keep in the drawer, so that's why I don't really want to move them. Anyway, so down here, uh, I guess I'll just pull out whatever I can. This first thing here is a melt stack. They don't make these anymore, but this was the the blueprint, I believe, which they've since made into a regular palette, right? So the top is like a mirror, then you have these two shades, then these really nice deep blues, then some neutrals. I've never used this, so <laughs> I can't really speak to the formula, but I have this and I bought it a long time ago. Well, it was already on sale when I bought it, so I guess it's newer in my collection. But this is a very old product from Milt. Um, then standing up over here, I have two Natasha Denona minis. So this is the Mini Biba palette. I haven't used this yet. There's the shade Monroe. L and Coco and Monroe I have in another palette that I'm going to show you soon. But this came in a Sephora favorite set around the holidays, I believe. And then I also have the Mini Retro, right? Yeah, Mini Retro. This is one of my favorite palettes. I just love the color story. Um, this, like what looks to be like an olive green actually is more like a gray on the eyes but it works really well with the pink so I really like this palette um, I'll try to stick to Natasha Denona because I have three more of her five pan palettes in this drawer this one is the Peak palette. This was a BoxyCharm exclusive. I think it has shades that exist in other palettes. Um, it has Aya, Jasper, Thorn, Amhara, and Shine. And it looks really pretty. I don't know. No, I don't think I've ever used this. <laughs> Uh, and if you guys saw my other videos, you know, I don't even like swatch my palettes until I use them So it looks like this has never even been touched, but I love this color story. So that's why I kept it uh, This one is more like a Cool tone smoky palette. This is the Ayana palette. I think this was also a BoxyCharm exclusive it has the shades Harlow, Lash Line, Satin Skin, Crease, and Glam Green. I think Lash Line and <sighs> Crease, <sighs> sorry, there's <laughs> cat hair floating around. I think those are from 
the glam palette, right? That palette where like all the shades are named like what where you put them on your eye, I think anyway. But I also have mm, this one looks like I have used it. I don't remember though. But anyway, I have this. <laughs> and then another boxy charm exclusive, the Cupid palette. This more like mm, burgundy-ish kind of color story and this I don't think I've used either it was in my shop my stash for um like winter but I just didn't have the chance to get to it um the this one has the shades clove shell Monroe see there's the Monroe shade so it's the same shade that's in the mini Biba palette um nude vino and oxide i actually have two of these one of them is still in the box never touched and i'm selling it on my poshmark <laughs> so if anyone is interested um yeah because boxycharm sent me two of them but yeah i have this i think that's it for natasha denona so we'll move on to whatever's next Actually, I might have to put everything back just so that <laughs> this doesn't become a huge mess. Okay, so this palette, this is another BoxyCharm exclusive from Blink. It's the Electric Eyes palette. This was in my Chopping Block series and I really liked it, so I kept it. It's a all shimmer palette, but the formula is so nice and smooth and it goes on with a brush. So yeah, really like this one. And then I have my one palette from, oh, it's reflecting <laughs> my face. My one palette from Dose of Colors, the Baked Browns. I think this is my only palette from Dose of Colors. Actually, maybe not. But this was my first one and I was so excited when I got this because I got it in a boxy charm, and it was around the time like these palettes were super popular on YouTube and I was like, oh, I finally have one. <laughs> and I do really like this palette. It's an all matte palette. I don't know if I said that already. It's a really like richly pigmented, especially this shade is really nice. I am wearing this in a few of my older videos. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll try and link them below. I'm sure I'll forget, <laughs> but I'll try to remember. Um, yeah, I really like this one from what I remember. I haven't used it in a while. Um, then we have some mini Pat McGrath palettes, so I'll start with the real mini ones. Um, these, like, her newer ones that she's been coming out with. So the first one I got was this, um, mini eyeshadow palette in Midnight Voyage. It's a tiny <laughs> baby pants, but... I really like that Pat McGrath does these because it gives you a chance to try her formula without spending like a hundred and seventy something dollars on her big size palettes and these have the same shades so well at least this one does I think all all of the shades in here exist in her big palettes except for this one if I'm remembering that correctly so in case you have those palettes. Um, the shades are Skin Show, Divine Glow, Entrapment, Sunset Bronze, Extreme Aubergine, Eleganza, and Night Creature. So I haven't used this yet, but I'm very excited that I have it, uh, which is why I bought the new one that came out. In, I think I bought this in the last VIB sale. This is the Sublime Smoke. And I believe all of these shades are existing in her other palettes. This one's more like a bronze, obviously, neutral color story. And the shades in this one are Skin Show Divine Glow. Wait a second. 
these have the same shades in them. <laughs> okay, so I already have a duplicate in just these two. So this shade, um, this first like light shimmer shade is the same in <laughs> both of the palettes. Oh well. That is a shade I would use um, like anytime I would use these palettes anyway because it's like an inner corner shade for me. So that's fine. But anyway, see, this is good that I'm filming this video because I didn't even know this. The other shades are Taboo, Bronze Eclipse, Extreme Dusk, Bronze Blaze, and Extreme Mahogany. And then I have a 5N palette, I believe. This one, I think, was from her holiday release, but I got this in a boxy charm, which was very exciting. This is the Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette in Nude Allure. So this one has Mercury. Curial Rose, Mahogany Angel, Coral Kiss, Plum Eclipse, and Naked Bronze. Is that the same shade that was in here? No. <laughs> okay, just check it. Um, this one looks really pretty. I think I've heard these palettes have a different formula, but it's still a really good one. You can see even just looking at it, like they're very sparkly. Um, I'm very excited to use this eventually, but yeah, haven't got to it yet. I think that's it for my... No, there's another Pat McGrath one later on. Um, this one is from Butter London, another palette that was in my Chopping Block series that I kept because I really like it. It's just a more, like, soft... Um, neutral, I guess, with a pop of blue. <laughs> um, but I really like the formula of this, so I kept this one as well. I don't know if this palette has a name. I think it did. I don't see it on the packaging, though. Anyway, I'm sure it doesn't exist anymore because I got it in a boxy charm. Um, we also have... This little trio, again, was in my chopping block series and I kept it because it's just so handy because it's just like a basic everyday look for me. These two are shimmers and that's a nice matte for a transition so it works really well as a one stop palette. So yeah, I kept this one and it's great for traveling because it's like a nice sturdy case and I'm not worried about it. like breaking or anything so there's that one. Oh, that was called the Three's Company eyeshadow palette from IBY Beauty. Um, then I have a little MAC duo. This came in like a kit where they do like those color story kind of things and this is called the Magnificent Me and well, the shades are called Magnificent Me and Just Wing It. So there's like a satiny shade and a matte. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> I mean, you can see the shades through the plastic, so I won't open it. But I don't use this much. I don't know. I feel like I I would if I pulled it into a project or shot my stash because it's a nice, again, like a one palette kind of thing. Um, I could use that all over the lid and this as like a highlight shade. So yeah, I have this one. <laughs> and another MAC palette is this um, Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette. This is my only MAC, like, nine palette, nine pen palette. And I haven't used this one much either. It's quite old in my collection, but I really love these colors. I just think they go super well together. This is a all matte palette, again, um, but I love this shade. This, like, mustardy shade. That's why I bought this palette, I think. <laughs> I don't remember much about the formula. I have to revisit my MAC palettes, actually. 
I should pull them into my chopping block series because those are pretty old. Um, but let's move on to like this other container. So this first one here is the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette and I love this palette when I used it. I have a video on this. It just looks really pretty. I love the pinks and the neutrals. I think Too Faced does neutrals really well, which is like, I guess why they keep doing it over and over again, because <laughs> people buy them. But they are, I don't know, just the undertones and everything work really well for me. And I really liked the formula of this palette. I think this is one that's made in Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Where can I see? Yeah, made in Italy. So if you ever see a Too Faced palette that's made in Italy, it's going to be good. I'll tell you right now. A lot of people say it's the tin packaging that makes it good, but it's because those palettes are made in Italy, usually. So, yeah. When it's made in Italy, it's probably a good palette from Too Faced. And here's my other, well, I'll just move this, my other mini Pat McGrath palette. So this was her first, like, um, version of a mini palette which is like really just a plastic like very not fancy at all <laughs> but the shades in this palette are really nice and there is actually a duochrome so that's why I keep it um it's this shade here I don't know yeah I guess you can see that it shifts from like a cranberry to like I don't know a bronze I guess but it's really pretty. And yeah, this one. Let's read the shade names because now I'm wondering how many duplicates I have. So this palette has Sinful, Gold Nectar, Sextrovert, <laughs> Illicit, and Corruption. Okay, I don't think I have those. But yeah. I'm glad she moved from this to these because this is just way cuter and, you know, looks more fancy in your <laughs> collection. Uh, this palette that I moved over is my only quad from Rowan. I got this from Boxy Pop-Up so I paid like a really steep discount <laughs> for this. Um, this is the 1111 quad and I haven't used it yet but look at this. This looks so pretty. So these are all like very creamy kind of flaky shades that you're meant to put on with your finger, which I don't love doing, but I would just to be able to try this formula because it looks so nice and shiny, but I haven't used it yet. So I'll let you know when I do. I'll just keep that aside so I can move through this. Here are my um, Rare Beauty palettes. So this first one I bought myself. Um, this is the Magnetic Spirit palette. And these have six pens in them. This looks really pretty. I've never used it. <laughs> this is an all shimmer palette, but I love the shades. I love the orange with the purple. I feel like that goes super nicely together. And then I got this one, the Confident Energy Palette in a boxy charm. But I think I chose it, like it was an option and I was like, well, I might as well have both of her palettes. <laughs> Cause at the time, I think these were the only two palettes she came out with. It's another all shimmer palette, but it's more like a blue yellow, green pink <laughs> basically more colorful i guess um yeah so i haven't used these i don't know anything about them to be honest which i'm going to be saying a lot so bear with me because i have a lot of palettes that don't have use on them Uh, oh, I do have another mini Rare Beauty palette. It's in my chopping block, so I'll show it to you. 
It's not in my chopping block series because I think like I'll hate it or anything. <laughs> it's just because it's a new palette to my collection and it got rolled for that project and it made me think I should just try it and see if I like it. So these, this is a mini palette called Sincerely Me. Sincerely Me. And I got this in a kit with like a little mascara. I think it's still available at Sephora in like the Isle of Doom, which is where <laughs> I found it. But I didn't know this was like a pressed glitter. So that's my like hesitation with this. Although I do love this color story. Again, <clears throat> it has that like mustardy yellow that I really like. So I'm hoping I like this one, but we'll have to see. Let's move on to my mini elf palettes. So this first one, I haven't used it yet. The Elf Cookies and Dreams um, 8 pen palette. I love this, like, I don't even know what you call this blue. I always call it like a denim blue, but I'm very excited to try this. And I got the eyeshadow stick in the same shade, so I kind of want to use those together and see how I like it. I know I like the formula of the four pen palettes, which I'll show you right now, actually. Um, so this little one, this is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, which is why it's somewhere else. But I really like this one. This is the Cream and Sugar quad. Um, yeah, I'm trying, this is the shade I'm working on, which is like super boring. It's just a cream, <laughs> like a matte cream shade, but I really like the formula of these, especially, these are like, I think $5 Canadian and they're available at Walmart. I don't know. I just find they're very easily accessible. And if you're like new to eyeshadow or you don't want to spend a lot on eyeshadow, these are really great. I actually had the rose water, I think it was called, quad as well. I am decluttering that one, not because I don't like it, but I just don't need that color story in my collection. So, but I'm keeping this one, which I'm assuming the formula is the same on these and the, the cookies and dreams, I hope, because I like this one. Um, what else? I have a Lawless palette. This is the only palette from Lawless that I have, the baby one. Um, this one I really liked. I used in a video when I tried clean makeup from Sephora and it was really nice, but I heard like the other mini palettes are not as good. So I don't know, but I like this one. Um, let's go back over here. So I have a mini Norvina palette. I only have this one. This is the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And I love these colors. I've mentioned this several times in videos, but this is like one of the best matte orange shades in my collection. And I really love orange eyeshadow, if you didn't know. <laughs> so I'm excited to use this more. This is very like a summer palette to me so I'll probably pull this into my summer shop my stash um yeah because I like doing more brighter like neon looks in the summer mixed with like neutrals which is what this palette offers so yeah excited to use this one more and these palettes I think you can get them now at like TJ Maxx or Winners or wherever so look out <laughs> for those to get them at a discount. Uh, this palette I showed in, I think my what's in my new makeup drawer video because I had got this from BoxyCharm. It's the Ofra Signature Palette in Symphony and it looks really pretty. It's like a burgundy kind of color story, which is very similar to other things I have, but I haven't tried Ofra eyeshadows yet, so I'm keeping this one for now. Let's see if I like it. Uh, this is from Naked Cosmetics. This is another BoxyCharm 
product <laughs> that I've had forever, but it's so like this just whenever I open it, I think of Halloween and fall and yeah, I really love these colors. And last I remember, I really liked the formula of this too. So, yes, keeping this one. Oh, this is my only, like, single... What do you call these? I never remember what I'm supposed to call these. Like, single pen eyeshadow palette? I don't know. I'm sure there's an easier way to describe that. I just have them in a Z palette that I got from BoxyCharm. But, um, so these, I think these two shades are Makeup Geek. And these two are Tarte. And the rest I took out of a Makeup Forever palette that was like super big and bulky. Like a big tin palette. Just to like round out a color story. And what's funny is, I'll show you actually, I I made this like a long, long time ago. I never use it. It never gets pulled into a project. Um, and I have this palette like as a, you know, a full palette in my inventory. But then I got this, um, I'm just going to jump around a little, but I got the, yes. The Huda Wild Jaguar palette because I was like, oh, that's a color story that's so unique and cool. <laughs> and it looks like the same as this that I never reach for. Look at this. Oh, how am I going to show you? Like, honestly, do I need <laughs> both of these? I don't know. I have yet to try this one though. So yeah, I just thought that was really funny. And even, I could like rearrange these more and look. it would look like exactly like this. I'm sure the formulas are very different, but still, I just thought that was funny. But yeah, I don't know how long this palette will stay in my collection because those shades are super old. And the Makeup Forever ones, I don't really like that formula. It's very, like, it doesn't pick up easily and it gets hard pen very fast. So we'll see what happens with that. It needs to get pulled into a project or something. Let's go back here. So I have the, I have the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. This has long been discontinued. But it's a very like smoky neutral color story. This is another one I should pull into my chopping block series because it's super old and not available anymore and I don't remember if I even like it that much. So yeah, we'll have to revisit this one. Oh, and here's a fun palette. This is my Sugar Pill Fun Size Mini Color Palette. And it looks like this. This is super unique to my collection. It's like pastel, but vibrant pastels. And I bought this in Florida because <laughs> you can't get sugar pill in Canada. And I just loved the little cat on the front too. There is another, like a volume two of this, but I don't feel like I need that one. I just really like this one. Um, yeah, that was it for those two containers. Here on the side, I keep these Tarte palettes here only because they're round and like they roll around in the drawers and it's quite annoying. Um, so that's why I keep them away from my like full size Tarte palettes. But this one is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. <laughs> This packaging is not very forgiving. It's showing everything in my room. <laughs> but it looks like this and it's quite boring. <laughs> Honestly, it's similar to the Milani Soft and Sultry, I feel. I have to revisit this one also to see if I want to keep it. But I think this was in a boxy charm. Well, it definitely was, but I don't remember if it was mine or if my mom gave it to me because she got it in her boxy charm. 
but that might have been this one. This one is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. This one is much more like very basic bronzy, not even bronze, like very light champagne shades that all look the same. And I mentioned that in another video, I think, but then I used it and I really liked it. <laughs> so we'll see. The only thing that bugs me, like there's one matte shade, actually this one here, but it's so light that it doesn't serve any purpose. So that's my like gripe with this palette. But again, another one I have to revisit. And then this one is the Make Believe in Yourself palette. And this one I was so excited to get. I bought it like when it came out with the collection, the Make Believe in Yourself collection, I guess. Um, yeah, but I never really reached for it, although it's so pretty. I really like all the colors in here. And the matte in this palette at least has some depth. <laughs> some depth um and if i remember correctly i really like the highlighter in the middle so yeah i have this one too then i have some color pop quads actually there's one missing because it's in my shop stash so this little box here is my animal crossing True Friends collection, I guess. So the one that's in my shop, my stash, is the Nook Ink. And I did use this, um, and I really like this palette. It's very pretty. Um, yeah, I really like the formula of these. The, even the matte with the sparkle, it looks really fun on the eyes. And the sparkle doesn't, like, some of it stays, actually, because there's so much of it, as you can see. It doesn't just like float away, you know, or blend away, <laughs> is what I meant. Then the other palettes in here, I've shown these a few times on my channel, but in case you don't know, there's the What A Hoot palette. This is the more like neutral one, very pretty. And I think all these palettes have a pressed glitter in them, but the ColourPop pressed glitter, sorry, this one is Five Star Island. The ColourPop Press Glitter actually goes on like an eyeshadow, I feel. Like it's not super like rough and chunky and feels like it's gonna scrape your eyelid off. So I really like I really like them in these quads. I can't remember if I like them in the other palettes. I have to like compare. But yeah. And then the last one is La Belle of the Ball. I really like this one too. This is the one I wore when I did the like first impressions video on this collection and I really loved it. This one has like a duochrome in it, which is special, I guess, for a quad. Um, yeah. And I actually, is this one? Okay, I was gonna say, does this one even have a pressed glitter? This one, um, it just looks so eyeshadowish. So, yeah. So my power just went out. <laughs> uh, that's fun. I guess I'll cut <laughs> this video now, and I'll restart when it comes back because this lighting is not gonna work. Okay, the power is back. It only went out for like five minutes, but I had PTSD because <laughs> in April we had an ice storm and the power went out for like four days. So yeah, I was a little stressed, but anyway, I'm back. Um, so moving on, the rest of my mini ColourPop quads. Um, I also have the Hello Kitty. I forget what collection this was. But yeah, this is the orange one, the Teeny Keeny Pressed Powder Palette. I also love the formula of these ones, and it looks like this. Oh. <laughs> I love this. I should pull this for my summer shop, my stash. Very cute. Let's 
see how I don't even remember what is in here. Um, then this yellow one. I think I've used this one before. This is the pineapple cake. And I'm keeping these in the box still, so that's why I have to open everything up. Sorry for that. But this one looks like this. Very, like, true yellow mixed with, like, a sunflower yellow, which I love. Actually, I think it was this one that I used. The... Um, Coco Cutie quad, I think. Yeah. Ooh, that looks pretty. It's more like turquoise, like leaning teal color story, I feel. Very like pool colors, <laughs> which is fun for summer, of course. And then the pink one, which is Cherry Sweet. Ooh, this is pretty. See, even these quads have like a lot of variation in them, I feel. Like they're not super monochromatic, which is fun. Um, anyway, I don't even know if you can... Actually, I think you can still get parts of this collection, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's probably on sale because it's an older collection now. But I just keep them in the boxes because it's just so cute. <laughs> um, I have some other color pop over here. This was from the, was it called the Shell Shocked or what? No, that's the name of this. What the Shell? I don't remember. Something like some pun about seashells, <laughs> but I have these two. Uh, nine pen palettes that I've never used. Um, this one is, oh yeah, I just said, this Shell Shocked. That is a hard thing to say. <laughs> shell Shocked. And it looks like that. These are so fun for summer, especially. I really need to use this. It looks very pretty. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Um, which I also haven't used. <laughs> and then this one's more like a deeper leaning color story. This this is the What the Shell palette. Looks like that. More like a pink, a pinky peach theme. But I love that these palettes have neutrals in them too. Because then it completes like a full look. For me, because what I found when I used the ColourPop quad, actually I need to take this back out because it's in my, shot my stash. The Nook Ink palette, I was like, I really need like a brown or something to like put some depth in my, uh, like in my crease area because this shade was like too deep to put in my crease and I was wearing this to my aunt's birthday party and I didn't want to, <laughs> I don't know, it felt like a weird occasion to like suddenly wear this very green um, eyeshadow look. But it, it came out really pretty because I used a, a neutral shade from a Too Faced palette that's in my whole collection project. But anyway, all that to say, I'm glad these palettes have those neutrals that I can mix in. Even though I like wearing colorful looks, it's just there's sometimes not for that time and place. You know what I mean? Um, this palette that's like on its own here is I think my only Sephora palette. Um, this is the Fresh Florals, I think. Yes. Fresh Florals. I think this is still available and it's on sale and I would recommend it. I really liked it last time I used it and of course it has, actually this shade is called Sunflower. I was going to call it a Sunflower Yellow and that's exactly <laughs> what they intended. And I love that shade with these like purpley tones. Um, yeah, so these are a nice um, deal also because they're Sephora collection, they're already like more affordable. 
and it's on sale i'm pretty sure it's still available so yeah this is a very cute palette for spring of course it's that's what it's meant for um really i should have pulled this into my shop my stash for spring but i didn't <laughs> but at least i've used that one already and then we have my huda um nine pan palettes i don't have many of these because i don't feel like they get the best reviews but sometimes i just can't resist so you already saw the wild jaguar palette the one that looks like this which i have not used but i've heard really good things about that's not really a spring and summer color story for me i have the love fest which has like this fun packaging never use this one but again that orange and purple theme i really like and then i got the color block palette i think last summer still haven't used it <laughs> oh dear and this one has a cake liner in it which i'm actually kind of excited to try when i have some time i like to play with that and see what i can do with that if you don't know cake liners you you have to wet it and then it becomes like a fluid pigment so yeah very excited to use this one Do we only have three Huda Beauty nine pans? I guess so, yeah. So those are there. Oh, I was gonna say, and that's it, but it's not. I have my uh, mini Too Faced tin palettes. Um, I have another one, which is in my whole collection project. This one, the Major Love palette. I have never seen anyone talk about this in a video. I have not seen it like in store. The only reason I have this is because I saw it at Ulta <laughs> when I went, uh, where did I go? I think Saratoga or something. I don't know. And I was like, what's that? And it supposedly smells like pears, but I don't, I don't know. I don't really get that. But this is the color story and I thought it was really pretty. I like that there's a pink and a green. I don't know just kind of fun um but yeah i don't know was this like a super limited edition or something because no one ever mentions this palette ever <laughs> let's see if it's made in italy no it's made in usa so maybe that's why maybe it's not as good formula <laughs> Um, and then the Secret Santa one you saw in my what's in my new makeup drawer because yes I still had a Christmas theme palette in my new makeup drawer but this one's really pretty and I love this like fiery red shimmer. I just think it makes it a bit different for Too Faced at least. <laughs> and this one is also made in USA. So we'll have to see about the formula. But let's look at this one because this one, the Shake Your Pom Poms palette, which you may have seen in my whole collection series, whole collection project pan, I mean. This is one of my favorite palettes. And this one is also made in USA. So I don't know, I really like this one. Um, yeah, I, it's kind of basic, but I realized the reason I like it so much is the tones of these like neutral shades. They just work super well on my skin tone as transitions. Um, even this one to like deepen a bit the outer corner and everything just very blendable and smooth in this palette. I also really like the highlight shade and I've used this shade as a blush and it was really pretty. So yeah. This one I really like and it smells like that peachy cream, peaches and cream, whatever. That one actually smells <laughs> like it's supposed to, I guess. So yeah, I really like this one. Another one I bought um, in the States, in Florida, I believe. So I considered this like my summery like travel palette. So yeah, this one has 
special memories for me. But these two, I just shoved them <laughs> back here for now because I don't know where else to put them. And also, if you're wondering what this is, it's my half magic sequins. What do they call these? Iridescent sparkle that I used one time in the video where, <laughs> where I tried half magic because I don't really go anywhere that where I would wear sparkles on my eye. But these ones were really good. They apply very easily and they didn't fall off. So yeah, if you want to see what they look like, they're in my half magic video, which I'm pretty sure if you just searched my name and half magic, it would come up, I guess. But yeah, that was everything for this drawer. Let me just see if I don't have any other mini palettes hiding. Oh, I see one. I just saw my Viseart Petit Pro because this is in my shop my stash. And it looks like this. Very basic neutral with like a pop of sort of purple. <laughs> so yeah, that's in my shop my stash to get more use on. Um, yeah, so that's everything for my mini palette collection, I think, unless there's some hiding elsewhere, which there probably is. I just checked my new makeup drawer. I found another Give Beauty, um, product at Winners. What's going on? <laughs> and I always kind of wanted to try the eyeshadow palettes, but none of the color stories were like super unique but i got this one the just a girl quad and it looks like this i just want to try give beauty and i just saw she released new products which look kind of intriguing so yeah very neutral but i got it because i found it at winners and it looked brand new and nobody stuck their fingers in it <laughs> so it seemed like a good deal to me so yeah have to try this one and now i think that's everything if not you'll see in my my next part of the series i guess where i try to organize all my large eyeshadow palettes so that will be coming up very soon hopefully so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe. I was doing a thumb, <laughs> a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.